Manning is two way per me, and then Blast of Kuman, best behavior, and Ballyboker Bridge. They've one fence left to jump in the PP Hogan Memorial Cross Country. At the last together, the stable companion, Shady Operator, and Midnight Maestro settling down now to tussle it out. And it's Midnight Maestro and Mark Walsh getting to Shady Operator and Derek O'Connor on the inside. They're racing to the last 50 yards, and it's Midnight Maestro by halfling to Shady Operator. They're well clear of two A per me. And then Vital Line and Blast of Cool Man. Weakening is two way per me, and then Blast of Cool Man, best behavior, and Ballyboker Bridge. They've one fence left to jump in the PP Hogan Memorial Cross Country. At the last together, the stable companion, Shady Operator, and Midnight Maestro settling down now to tussle it out. And it's Midnight Maestro and Mark Walsh getting to Shady Operator and Derek O'Connor on the inside. They're racing to the last 50 yards, and it's Midnight Maestro by halfling to Shady Operator. They're well clear of two way per me. And and then Vital Line and Blast of Cool Man. Racing to the final fence and the Hollywood Bets Cheltenham Festival preview, March 3rd, rated Novice Chase and safely over is Stiel Dinesh from Fire Attack, who made a terrible mistake. And then Alco Rouge losing at the last, dancing on my own. It's a diluted field here. Uh, Ciel Dinesh is really on a different graph since he started jumping fences. And the winners keep on coming for Mark Walsh, JP McManus, and William Allen. Ciel Dinesh has made it three straight. Second is Fire Attack, Alco Rouge third. And then you raise me up, and Poseidon. Racing to the final fence, and the Hollywood Bets Cheltenham Festival preview, March 3rd, rated Novice Chase, and safely over is Stiel Dinesh from Fire Attack, who made a terrible mistake. And then Alco Rouge losing at the last, dancing on my own. It's a diluted field here. Uh, Ciel Dinesh is really on a different graph since he started jumping fences. And the winners keep on coming for Mark Walsh. J.P. McManus and William Allen. Ciel Dinesh has made it three straight. Second is Fire Attack, Alco Rouge third, and then you raise me up and Poseidon. 1,000 euro. So if you back the winner today's Hollywood Bets Grand National Trial, and you can be able a chance to win a share of a... The final fence from Coco Beach flew out on the outside of Champagne Platinum and at the last is Death Judy over by three to four lengths. A mistake by Fleur Champagne Platinum's trying to have a crack at Death Judy inside the final hundred yards. It's Death Judy and Jack Kennedy by three to four lengths from Champagne Platinum. It's a rekindling of an old flame here as Death Judy wins the Grand National Trial sponsored by Holly Betts. Second is Champagne Platinum, then Fleur Coco Beach and they're well clear from Stones and Roses and the Big Dog. The final fence from Coco Beach flew out on the outside of Champagne Platinum and at the last is Death Judy over by three to four lengths. A mistake by Fleur Champagne Platinum's trying to have a crack at Death Judy. Inside the final hundred yards, it's Death Judy and Jack Kennedy by three to four lengths from Champagne Platinum. It's a rekindling of an old flame here as Death Judy wins the Grand National Trial sponsored by Holly Betts. Second is Champagne Platinum, then Fleur Coco Beach and they're well clear from Stones and Roses and the Big Dog. Listed race and it's deployed the getaway with slip of the tongue on the inside. The pair have opened up a lead over a floor on as they head for the final flight. Deployed the getaway in Paul Town and from slip of the tongue challenging for Mark Walsh on the inside and it's slip of the tongue and deployed the getaway slip of the tongue. Almost when a good sit by Mark Walsh trying to conjure up another runs deployed the getaway and then oh floor on slip of the tongue from deployed the getaway on the near side it's slip of the tongue and Mark Walsh for JP McManus winners left right and center for the duo second is deployed the getaway of Fleuron in third I don't get it in Largy Debu and Tully Hope Ford will complete the course long way back 
listed race and it's deployed the getaway with slip of the tongue on the inside the pair have opened up a lead over a floor on as they head for the final flight deployed the getaway and Paul Town and from slip of the tongue challenging for Mark Walsh on the inside and it's slip of the tongue and deployed the getaway slip of the tongue almost when a good sit by Mark Walsh trying to conjure up another runs deployed the getaway and then oh floor on slip of the tongue from deployed the getaway on the near side it's slip of the tongue and Mark Walsh for JP McManus winners left right and center for the duo second is deploy the getaway of Fleuron and third I don't get it in Largy Debu and Tully Hope Ford will complete the course long way back you can check out the marquee just behind the main stand I'm joined again by Andrew Halligan from And it's Grandero, Bello and Ricky Doyle with the lead from Jack in the Box, Jack Kennedy. In between them is Corbo and Danny Mullins and at the last it is Grandero, Bello and Frump from Jack in the Box. Here on the outside is Lucky Tenor who's unleashing a very late run ahead of Bodhi Satfer going up to the last 50 yards. Grandero, Bello has made it by three parts from Lucky Tenor, Bodhi Satfer, Jack in the Box and Corbo and they're clear from Pondu Gap. And it's Grandero, Bello and Ricky Doyle with the lead from Jack in the Box, Jack Kennedy. In between them is Corbo and Danny Mullins and at the last it is Grandero, Bello and Frump from Jack in the Box. Here on the outside is Lucky Tenor who's unleashing a very late run ahead of Bodhi Satfer going up to the last 50 yards. Grandero, Bello has made it by three parts from Lucky Tenor, Bodhi Satfer, Jack in the Box and Corbo and they're clear from Pondu Gap. come to the final flight and it's it's not in it in the lead by a couple of lengths on the outside boss girl is staying on in between them is classy concord coming again robinstown and then young dev away from the final flight and they're bunching here it's not in it with robinstown and young dev in between them boss girl the near side running up towards the finish and young dev on the inside has treaded the needle from boss girl and robinstown it's not in it got weird Ready to finish fourth and then classy Concord. come to the final flight and it's it's not in it in the lead by a couple of lengths on the outside boss girl is staying on in between them is classy concord coming again robinstown and then young dev away from the final flight and they're bunching here it's not in it with robinstown and young dev in between them boss girl the near side running up towards the finish and young dev on the inside has treaded the needle from boss girl and robinstown it's not in it got weird to finish fourth and then classic concord and it's James's gate the leader now by three lengths to any road on the outside of secret artists these three have gone a long way clear of Blackwater and Mo Roche but it's James's gate in front and has it signed sealed and delivered it's James's gate and Patrick Mullins lengthening right away from secret artist and any road James's gate wins in good style from secret artist and any road they're the one two three and it's James's gate the leader now by three lengths to any road on the outside of secret artists these three have gone a long way clear of Blackwater and Mo Roche but it's James's gate in front and has it signed sealed and delivered it's James's gate and Patrick Mullins lengthening right away from secret artist and any road James's gate wins in good style from secret artist and any road they're the one two three